Welcome back, everybody. It's Warner Rentals Blazer Hockey Talk. We're so happy to have Gord Ravel up and join us here tonight in the broadcast booth. I know you listen at all the games, and uh, you try to get into as many as you can, so thanks for popping by. This is a special, special weekend, special night here for your family, Gord, I'm assuming. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Couldn't, couldn't dream that something like this could be possible, for sure. 15-year-old uh, uh, Peter Ravel. Petey, boy, he's just been everywhere the last couple of years, uh, ever since Matt joined the club. Tell me more about Peter. Uh, we saw him on the ice tonight, dropped the ceremonial uh, face-off. It's, it's Autism Awareness Night. Uh, he's been diagnosed with the Rubenstein uh, Tabby Syndrome. Uh, so That's tell right. me more about, about Petey and and, uh, and what he's like and what he's all about. Petey, well, Rubenstein Tabby leaves him mentally handicapped, and uh, he doesn't speak, so he uses sign language. Uh, he's very anxious, and uh, the autistic part of it uh, comes out in him. He's got to have everything, uh, got to have a very clear agenda, and got to have everything just going right for him. Uh, he's got to know exactly what's happening. So tonight's procedure or uh, ceremony you could tell was a little bit tense with him yeah Very anxious. but you know what you say that but he he likes to be around at all you know oh, yeah. he's always along the glass or you know down in the dressing room i mean he doesn't really shy away from that stuff not at all no he for some reason uh, it's that anxious part to when you're pushing him to make him do things it's it's really he's got to do it on his own terms uh, uh like if he's like a lot of kids i guess but in in uh, with the autistic side of it it just can't be pushed there's uh, uh the agenda's got to be played forward by them, basically. But I tell you, he's been around the guys a lot, and the guys are so good with him and the team. Salito Robinson, I mean, bless his heart, he's just a wonderful man. And the fans, what a great reaction tonight. No. Uh, I was, uh, I was yeah. kind of around the concourse at the time, and everyone was really in Oh, I know. He had sort of had a bad throw to first there at first, but uh, you know, the first to puck toss, but he did real well after that, and they were, uh, they, they love him. Everywhere we go, people are just very appreciative. It actually, it's heartwarming how people treat kids like this. It was a big uh, eye-opener for us, because everybody brings out the best in people to have kids like this around. The whole family, I know you have another son as well, a baseball player, so is yeah. it the three boys? Three boys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's got two older siblings, one twenty-two and, and not twenty. So very athletic. Yeah. Both guys. So, but Peter, you could tell he's, he's he's got weight issues. He's got two couple of holes in his heart. He's got, yeah, he's had procedures done and things like that. So he is obviously he doesn't skate. He doesn't do many things. We're scared he's going to fall down the stairs here at the Sandman Center. But it, you know, he, he plays hockey in the basement. Just ruins my place at home. So that's <laughs> oh, all good. He's, he's a pretty resilient young man. I'll oh, say that for sure. He, yeah. Yes, for sure. Yeah. What's it like being a hockey dad of the WHL? You followed Matt. Of course, he started in Saskatoon at the Blades. Yeah. They hosted the Memorial Cup that year. And then uh, he comes over and really it was a big blockbuster deal uh, just before the trade deadline in that January. No, oh, it's, it's an amazing thing. We've gone through all the highs and lows. This is year five for us. And it feels like we started yesterday. It feels like just the other day, Lauren Mulliken was pulling on my arm to get him to come to Saskatoon. It was a long way to send him from home and from Manitoba. So sending him from BC to Saskatoon was quite a thing at 16. But he tells me to this day he's still very happy to have done it at that age. A wonderful experience. Uh, Lauren and the squad, they were uh, just wonderful for him. And uh, he couldn't ask for a higher profile kind of a, you know, the 24-7 show that followed him on right, the edge yeah. was on the yeah, It really was good, yeah. And then when we came here, I mean, the Blazers wanted him. They were excited about him. Uh, got to play for Gishiron there. Was, that was a wonderful man. And just some great things happened. He really boosted his confidence. Got to play for Don. So now Don is the Don and Lauren too, the you know most winningest coaches in the, all of WHL history. So just I mean, Don taught him how to play like a pro, which is an important part of uh, maturity here. Yeah, but it all uh, it all winds down. This is it, 20 year old season, right? And it probably went so quick. Uh, yeah, oh, what's yeah. what's Matt's take in his, in his WHL career? What does he say when he when he thinks about the, the five years? Well, he he uh, he's, looks back. He loves it. I mean, I look at him now. I'm watching the guys in the, as they're getting ready for the game, and he's just. Uh, Kind of, kind of one of the big dogs now, so he wasn't when he was for, uh, for obviously at first, but uh, he's you kind of mature into that role, and it's uh, that's really heartwarming because they, 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 they the league does create young men, young responsible men. I mean, uh, these guys are all over him. The Don's on him phone 11 o'clock at night, make sure those guys are home, and uh, we as parents appreciate that because when they get you send them away, you trust that people are going to look after them. He's got his education, he's got a lot of options ahead of him right now, 
It'll be an interesting year to see what he does. Well, I'm a big Matt Ravel fan. Uh, well, respectable young man, a race right, I can tell, uh, and he's just a great guy to be around. And uh, I look forward to him moving on and whatever it's going to be, pro hockey or, or CIS. And what a night for the Ravel family here with uh, with Peter uh, on our uh, honorary Blazer night. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your night, Gordon. It's great to sit down and have a chat with you. This Absolutely. has been long overdue, uh, and great stuff here tonight. Congratulations on this. Thank you, John. Thanks for the opportunity here. This is the, it's a I'm going to go have to have a nap here. I think between periods, I'm losing it here. <laughs> <laughs> great stuff, Gordon. Thanks Thank for coming you. by. Okay. That's sure. Gordon Revell, uh, father of, of course, Matt and Petey, who's the honorary Blazer here tonight for Warner Rentals Blazer Hockey Talk. Uh, we are in a scoreless game, and the second period.